Good evening. HS2, the high-speed rail project linking London to the Midlands and the North, is to undergo an independent review and it could be scrapped altogether. It's a decade since HS2 Limited was formed to look at the business case of building a high-speed rail link. The route from London to Birmingham and then extending to Manchester and Leeds was confirmed in 2013. But there have been warnings that it could end up costing at least £86 billion. That's £30 billion more than previously thought. If completed, first passengers are expected in 2026. Our special correspondent Peter Wilson has been gauging the reaction to today's government announcement. Work today ongoing on farmland in Staffordshire to prepare the way for HS2. But at the same time, news was breaking of the government's review of the whole rail project, leaving the local farmer bemused. I think it's probably just to say we've looked at it and maybe we think it's better to carry on. I think it'll carry on to crew. It might be delayed thereafter. Um, I think there's a lot of politics involved and a lot of people to keep happy rather than what's in the best interest of the country. Just down the M42 in North Warwickshire, Sir Mark Worthington, the independent HS2 construction commissioner, was being shown the impact of the project on business and farmers. At Kingsbury, he was intercepted by a farmer whose family, home and farm buildings could be demolished to make way for HS2. Our main concern is that we would like a decision of either to, it either continues or it stops. In limbo land is no good for anybody. HS2 is due to open by 2026, with trains potentially reaching speeds of 225 miles per hour, running first between London and the West Midlands. It's estimated that 7,000 jobs have already been created in Birmingham alone. But what does this government review mean? The message I've had along the line visiting local communities is they want some certainty. They want to know exactly what is going to happen and they want it decided quite soon. So I think a lot of people will welcome the fact that the Prime Minister has set up this review and is going to have a speedy uh, result. As costs have spiralled, so the doubts have set in. This is what Boris Johnson said when he recently visited Birmingham. I have anxieties about the business case for HS2. Uh, I, I think there are, there, are, there are questions, legitimate questions, that any incoming Prime Minister would want to uh, satisfy himself about. The Conservative MP showing the independent commissioner around the HS2 routes wants the project scrapped. When you're looking in the region of spending upwards of £100 billion, the business case goes out the window in any event. And we've looked at various other schemes and there's lots more that you could deliver for that money that would actually provide prosperity all across the country rather than just in a very narrow sliver of land. Birmingham City Council say that a U-turn on HS2 would be disastrous. One of those who will sit on the independent review is the leader of Dudley Council. Hopefully that you know, it doesn't get scrapped. Hopefully the review will bring some benefits to the project, as I've said, reduce costs, uh, finishing the project perhaps ahead of schedule or on time. Uh, that would be a great start. White elephant or economic great hope? The timetable for this review promises to be fast, finished by the end of this year. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, on the route of HS2.